so what is poppin'? As you can tell from the title of this video, today we have a Apple bag. And that is because today we are going to be doing an AirPods Pro unboxing and review video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get straight into the unboxing and see the new AirPods Pro. Well, they're not new for, you know, the world, but they're new for me. So we're going to stick to it. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Okay. So let's take the AirPods out of the bag and here is what the box looks like. Now, normally it does have plastic on top of the box, but as we know, or you may not know, I am very impatient. So the plastic is gone. Boohoo. And now we have the box. When I show you, it is packaged the same way that it was given to me, minus the plastic, okay? All right, okay, let's get started. So, like I said, this is the box. Just nice an Apple around. You know, AirPods Pro, wireless charging case, woohoo. In the back, just shows you the AirPods. And then you open the AirPod box up. And here is the little, I don't know what this is actually. But yeah, here is this. And then you have your AirPods. And then you have your charging cable and I think also the charging cable or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I still have to figure that out. But that's there in the AirPods with the wireless case come inside of that. And then we go to our AirPods over here. And this is what the case looks like. It has like this metal on the back. And then it also has a charging USB port over here. And then, well, not this is not USB. This is just the lightning charging port, but like the other end of it is supposed to be USB. And then we open it and here are our lovely AirPods. Woohoo! Okay, so here is the right one and here is the left one. This is what they look like. Right over here, here are our lovely AirPods. So they are very small for sure. Oh, as you could tell, one just dropped. So yes, they are very small, which is great for like, you know, if you're trying to not have any heavy weight on your ears. I think this is great because it's so lightweight on the ears and so easy to walk around, run around. And I think that they're honestly very difficult to fall out. Some people do say it's easy to fall out, but in my opinion, I think they're very hard to fall out. Like I've went running like a legit marathon with these on and nothing has happened. So I would recommend before getting them that you try wearing them and make sure that they don't fall out. Like you go to the Apple store and you check them out because in my opinion, I think that they don't fall out, but some people do say that they fall out because they are so tiny. And obviously, like, one bud is not going to fit everyone's ear shape. So, definitely check that out. But this is exactly what they look like. And, yeah. Now I want to show you guys the sound quality. So, I'm going to play something from my phone and Bluetooth it to the wireless AirPods. Yes, you do connect through Bluetooth if you don't know that. Also, I'm not the most tech-savvy person to exist. So, everything I say may not be accurate. But I still have a pretty good idea of headphones just because I've gone through so many. So yeah, I'm going to connect the audio to here. Now, the iOS that I have on my phone is iOS, I think, 10. And these, with all their features, only work with iOS 11. Wait, am I right or am I wrong? i got to check my iOS real quick. Oh, never mind about that. Okay, I have to update to iOS 13.4. So whatever updates before that, that's what my phone's on. So it's telling me to update to iOS 13.4 so that these will work the best. But personally, I don't like updating my phone again and again just because, I don't know, I just think it works slower every single time I update instead of faster. So that's, oh, that's a good conspiracy theory. Okay, anyway, so yeah, that's why I don't update it. So it's not going to be the best of features. Like, it works better with my brother's phone because he is updated to the 13.4 iOS system. So I'm just going to connect it and we'll see how it goes from there. It does have active noise canceling, which is very nice. And wait till you hear the sound quality. Obviously, you're not going to be able to hear as good as I will in my ear. And I obviously can't give you the AirPod in your ear since you know you're across the screen. But I'm going to try to keep the AirPods as close to the mic of my camera as possible while playing from my phone to the AirPods so that you can hear the sound quality. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem. I'm not exactly sure where the microphone on my camera is. So I'm just going to keep it over here. I'm about like, 
a finger away from the lens on my camera so that's about how f I'm literally just a finger away so that's about how far I am from the camera and now I'm gonna play a song on the loudest audio possible on the airpods obviously this isn't really gonna give you a good I guess check of what the sound quality really is like but it will show you how loud it is because if like this is to the highest max volume so if you really want to know how loud the airpods can go ready set go As you can tell, pretty loud. And in my ear is even louder. It's like, you know, you know in the car when you put your volume on max and you literally can't see or hear anything, minus the music? Yeah, that's exactly what these feel like on the max audio. And as you can tell, I don't know exactly what it sounds like yet since I haven't obviously watched the video that I'm recording right now, but I think it was loud enough for you guys to also hear literally through the camera even though they're supposed to be heard through your ears. Okay, so like I said, the sound quality is not terrible at all. It is actually amazing and it goes very high. The sound's great. I feel like, you know when some, like Ariana Grande, in all her songs she always has some background vocals. Sometimes it's hard to catch those background vocals on some speakers and some headphones, but these you can definitely differentiate from the audio and the background audio or the background vocals like I could really hear her background vocals like go through these airpods so if you know what I mean like you can tell differences between like volume tones like voices and all that it's really easy to tell the difference just because this is really good with their sound quality and I also want to mention that the battery life is also pretty good and noise cancellation is also very good so uh, for example if you're at a mall which nobody's gonna be at a mall right now because it is quarantine life in the coronavirus right now, but let's say this was not happening. Like imagine for just one moment, right? And you go to the mall and you're walking around and there's background music and it's annoying you because the mall is playing music that you don't like and you wanna block out that music, right? And you wanna use some active noise cancellation. Boom, here are your guys. But um, if your mom is yelling at you, boom, these are not your guys because with such close contact like that and like louder volumes obviously these aren't like earplugs they're not gonna plug that out but when it comes to background voices like that or if you're like someone's like yelling downstairs like I could probably deal with that through these and not hear that but if you're in my face yelling at me this is not gonna cancel that out you get it you know kind of makes sense right maybe I don't know so these bad boys do retail for $250. Honestly, in my opinion, I do think it's a pretty steep price. I know the normal AirPods are $170, but I think that if you're going to get the normal AirPods for $170, you might as well put $80 more and get like your comfort type AirPods instead. Like I feel like these are worth the price jump, but I don't think that they're worth $250. Like $250 as a whole, I don't think it's... I mean, I think it's worth it, but I just don't think that it should be priced that high. I like the 170 price point more, but the thing is, if you're already putting in 170, you might as well put 80 more, you know? So with tax, it was about, I think, 280 for me in my state. I don't know how much it is for you, but it does retail for 250, which I think is kind of steep, but not gonna lie, I do think it's definitely worth it. I've been using these AirPods for about a week now. Yes, the whole unboxing thing was kind of a lie, not gonna lie, sorry, clickbaited you. But I did package it exactly the way I got it, so don't worry, you're seeing it exactly how you're gonna get it, minus the plastic. And uh, I literally didn't even open up the charging cable because I was waiting to film this video, but I really did want to put this to the test and see if I would be able to love it in a week. And I have to say, I did love it in a week. My These are actually my brothers, I just keep using them here and there, so... Sorry, bro, but yeah, I'm borrowing his. But I do enjoy them a lot for sure, and when I'm doing the dishes, sometimes I use this and... It definitely blocks out the sink water and just gives me the audio that I'm listening to. This is great if you want to listen to podcasts or if you want to obviously listen to music because of, like I said, background vocals, you can really differentiate between them. And not only that, but this is also very good if you're reading a book virtually, like Audible. And like I said, again, podcasts are great on this because you really feel the connection because the sound quality is so good. It's almost like it's coming like from straight in front of you and not from like a speaker. I don't know, if you have these, you'll know, but I definitely do think they are worth it. I just wish they were a little cheaper, and yeah.
that is my final thoughts. AirPods Pro for the win. They're bomb. If you guys like the AirPods and I th like if you like the comfort of them, then definitely go for them. Save out on the 80 bucks. But if you don't think they're the best, if you don't think they give you the most comfort, then this is an option for a little bit of a higher price. But I think comfort wise, these are definitely more worth it rather than the other AirPods. My cousin does own the other AirPods and seeing the difference between the two, I'm definitely going to say that I prefer these personally. And that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. Is the AirPods Pro worth it in 2020 during coronavirus quarantine? Yes, it is saving my life. Not gonna lie. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know down below and I will definitely answer them. And I hope this was entertaining. Okay, bye! The AirPods Pro have about five hours battery life, but four and a half if you have active noise canceling on. They have three modes. There's transparency mode, which filters in noise. There's the regular mode, which takes out some noise. Then there's noise canceling, which takes out every noise that isn't a person talking, or at least dulls it down. They sound all right, nothing amazing, but you didn't buy it for that. You bought it for consistency and convenience, which is Apple's entire pitch, if I'm correct. Now, I definitely think that they're pretty amazing, but at the $250 price tag, I definitely think it should give you some pause. Maybe you should go for the regular AirPods, or maybe you should go for an alternative. That's all I have to say about the matter, but suffice it to say that if you buy it, you're not going to regret it. Okay guys, so that was my brother's opinion on the AirPods Pro coming from someone who knows a bit more. I hope that was valuable and bye for reals this time. Okay, thank you all for watching. Bye!